Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So, we have workers at a company that fixed 37,015 and 8 hundredths meters of a pipe. How is this number written in expanded notation? So, that is an interesting number. Let's go ahead and make a little place value chart here. So, we're going to do, because that's going to help us. We've got 37,000. 15 and remember when we're reading these numbers and is what kind of represents our decimal there and so when we're looking at our place value starting all the way over here we've got the hundredth because remember that is two to the left of our decimal and then we've got our tenth and I'm going to underline the th because it's tenth and hundredth not ten and hundred and then we've got our ones tens, hundreds, that's pretty easy. And then we've got our ones and our tens, but remember this is in our thousands family. So this is our thousands period, 1,000, 10,000. So what we're going to do is we're always going to start with the largest number. So in this case, we've got the three in the 10,000s place. So a three in the 10,000s, we're going to write it like this. It's going to be three you multiply it by its place value. And so you have, this is a 10,000, so it's three times 10,000. And so it's this three with one, two, three, four extra zeros. You don't go into the decimals. So three and then one with four zeros, which is 10,000. So this three in the 10,000s is worth 30,000, which is represented by three times 10,000. Because if you skip count by 10,000, you're going to get 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Then you just add and you get that next one, 7 times its place value. This is a in the 1,000s, and so we're going to write 1,000, which is a 1 with 3 zeros, because there's that 1,000s place, there's 1, 2, 3 zeros behind there. We skip the 0, because anything times 0 is 0, so it's going to waste our time if we do a 0 times 100 but we grab that 10. So it's one times its place value, one times 10. Now five, we're not just gonna write five. We have to write five times its place value, which is five times one. I know that's five, but we have to just kind of follow this pattern. And then we are going to, we don't put a decimal, we just put a plus. We skip the zero in the tenths place. We go to the hundredths place. So it's gonna be eight times. Now this is kind of where it gets tricky. How do you write hundredth? Well, you write its place value, so it's two digits to the right of the decimal point. So we're going to do like this. It's always a one there. But remember, when we're writing decimals, if there's not anything in that one's place, we go, to, go and put a zero, just so there's always a number to the left and to the right of the decimal. Another way to do that would be eight times. You can also write as a fraction, one hundredth. That's also fine. So let's take a look at our answers to see what we have here. So. It looks like 3 times 10,000, we're going to start with our first one. A is looking good. B is looking good. C is already out. D is looking good. We're going to look at our 7 times 1,000. And you notice that we're looking good again in A. We're looking good in B. We're looking good in D. So those first two terms are the same in A, B, and D. C is just missing zeros, like they fell off or something. We've got a 1 times 10. Ah, now we're going to start getting some changes here. So A, look at that. They give you 1 times 100, but that 1 is in the tens spot. So we're going to cross that out. B is good, and D is good. C, I mean, C works, but we're going to go ahead and mark C out. Let's go ahead and mark out A so you don't get confused. And we are looking at 5 times 1. Check, check. And here's the difference. B and D, it's 8 times one-tenth is incorrect. The answer is D.